debate just last night, really nothing short of ugly. And those comments connected to the months of violent protests and how they should be handled drew fierce reaction right here in the Rose City today. Also, signs the feds are not giving up attempts to police Portland. Our Lisa Bailick going beyond the headline. She joins us live from downtown Portland with more on that reaction. Lisa? Well, the president last night said that he could get Portland under control in 30 minutes if local leaders would let him. But what's got a lot of people around here really upset right now is his refusal to condemn white supremacy. The president's behavior and comments last night are a stark reminder that our community must stand together against racism and hate. Political anger in Portland after the city and its unrest brought up repeatedly last night in the presidential debate. The president refusing to condemn white supremacist groups. I promise well, boys, stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right his wing own, problem. This is FBI. a left wing. I talked one on one today with Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese about how the president said he has the endorsement of, quote, the Portland sheriff. I do not support Donald Trump. I've never supported Tr Donald Trump. I asked Reese how the president's remarks about the Proud Boys far right group could have an effect here. It's pouring gasoline on the fire. I have uh, concerns about uh, the. Uh, national divisiveness and how that is creating really uh, dire circumstances for our community. This afternoon, the political fight between the feds and Portland Democratic leaders intensified. The mayor's attorney had sent an email to the U.S. Attorney for Oregon saying the city does not consent to the continuing federal deputization of its police officers and withdraws that consent. Those powers allowed the officers to make arrests on federal charges and use tear gas. But the U.S. attorney and the U.S. marshal sent back a response, saying the 56 police officers and 22 sheriff's deputies will remain deputized, quote, due to a lack of leadership in the city. Now, Governor Brown, when we reached out today, said that it is up to Portland to figure this issue out for their officers, but she remains in favor of keeping that federal designation in place for Oregon State Troopers. In fact, it was even the head of the Oregon State Police that got this going in the first place, and they are hoping that those federal designations for those powers stay in place through the end of the year. This is a story we'll definitely be following in the coming weeks. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News.